We recorded this video of a titanium 6.8% aluminium 4.8% vanadium sample using the secondary electron camera in the scanning electron microscope. The sample was heated to 1000 degrees using a in situ heating stage. Um, so at the start of the video, the sample had fully transformed to the beta phase. And then we slowly cooled it through the beta transus so you can see the alpha phase nucleate in real time. And this is a result of the um, surface relief for the uh, pressure that's caused by the, the transformation in the material. Um, these results were published in a paper in Acta Materialia with some additional EBSD maps. Um, but I thought it might be good to give an overview of the results in this video. First, you can see a single alpha lath nucleating on the central beta grain boundary. Usually, multiple lamellae are described as nucleating together as a colony, and then they move as a front into the grain. Clearly, at least for Ti-6-4, that is not what happens, at least at these cooling rates. Next, another lath, about 30 microns down from the first, nucleates. This appears to be a result of autocatalytic nucleation, where the first lath produces a strain field that can be relaxed by a second lath of the same orientation nucleating further away from it. Another lath then nucleates at the same point as the first on the opposite side of the beta grain boundary, and then autocatalytic nucleation continues on that side of the boundary. It's particularly interesting that there's no apparent alpha allotriomorph at the grain boundary at this point. This suggests that it's not necessary for nucleation. This is discussed more in the paper. At this point, the alpha nucleation of lamella is widespread across the entire sample. Some individual lamella are seen to branch outwards to produce a fan of single variant orientations, which can then form a new colony. In the top left hand grain at this point, you can see widely spaced laths impinge on one another from opposite sides of the grain. These widely spaced laths are skeletons for future single variant alpha colonies. To summarize, the alpha nucleation in Tire 6-4 appears to follow a similar pattern. First, individual alpha laths form at the beta grain boundaries. It is not clear whether these laths require an alpha allotriomorph to nucleate. Then nucleation continues as widely spaced alpha laths appear to form along all of the beta grain boundaries. This appears to form by autocatalytic nucleation. These widely spaced laths impinge on each other from opposite sides of the beta grains, forming the skeletons of the single variant colonies. Finally, to infill the beta matrix, the existing alpha laths appear to broaden and then autocatalytic nucleation continues and eventually the entire beta matrix is infilled and full single variant alpha colonies form. This is only a brief overview of the alpha nucleation process in Ti-6-4. Um, for more information and for more discussion on the topic, please do see our paper that's now published in Acta Materialia. I'll put a link in the video description below. Thanks.